Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So there's rarely a dull moment when it comes to Tesla. One of my favorite things about owning Tesla stock is effectively having a call option on the future innovations that the company may come up with. And in this video, we're talking about Tesla robots. Some huge new rumors are swirling around Tesla's AI day and all evidence seems to be pointing toward the fact that there's gonna be something to do with Tesla and robots unveiled at Tesla AI day. So in this video, we'll talk briefly about Tesla's AI day and the purpose of the event. We'll look at how Tesla robots may tie into the event. I'll also speculate about what's likely, possible and unlikely in terms of Tesla robots and I highly recommend you guys and girls stick around to the end of today's video. So with that said, let's get into it. If you love crypto, stocks and free stuff or just want to help out the channel, check out these great offers. BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card. People in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. Check out the link in the description. And for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $300 just for opening an account. And if you make an initial deposit of $5 or more, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $2,000. Seriously. Free stocks? Yes, please. And finally, if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Let's get back to it. So first of all, what is the purpose of Tesla AI Day? Let's head over to Twitter. So on July 29th, Elon Musk tweeted out, Tesla AI Day, August 19th. I retweeted this and added a few thoughts saying that the mainstream media won't understand anything they see at Tesla AI Day. By the way, you can count on this. Analysts won't understand anything they see at Tesla AI Day. You can also count on this. And many retail investors won't understand anything they see at Tesla AI Day. The main purpose is to recruit the world's best AI talent. Elon Musk responding and clarifying there, convincing the best AI talent to join Tesla is the sole goal. This is really important to understand. The sole purpose. Not the most important goal, the sole purpose of Tesla's AI day is to recruit the world's best AI talent to Tesla. Given the fact that almost everyone watching this channel is either a Tesla fanboy or a fangirl, at least that's my assumption. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments for sure. If you are a Tesla fanboy, let me know. If you're a Tesla fangirl, comment below, just so I'm sure. Maybe there's a few people that are more casually into the company, but I suspect if you're on YouTube spending a valuable time watching some random guy talking about Tesla, you're probably a fanboy fangirl. Anyway. I know it may be hard for some of you guys and girls to imagine, but there is an entire world out there that doesn't revolve around Tesla. And I'm sure there are many of the world's best artificial intelligence experts right now who have absolutely no idea what's going on beneath the surface at Tesla. I mean, dude, some of the world's <laughs> smartest stock analysts have no idea what's going on. None of the mainstream finance media have any idea what's going on. So surely there's a lot of people doing cutting edge research or just finishing their studies in artificial intelligence who don't even know that Tesla is evolving into one of the world's leading artificial intelligence companies. The purpose of this event is to create waves and penetrate into this community to make people aware of the opportunity that presents itself by working at Tesla and developing cutting edge real world AI. And hence my previous tweet explaining why the mainstream media, analysts and most retail investors won't have any idea what the f*** they saw. This event isn't being put on to pump up Tesla stock. This isn't being put on to create a few nice sound bites in the mainstream media to spoon fed these guys a few things to talk about regarding Tesla. No, no, no. The sole purpose of this event is recruiting AI talent. In short, my prediction is that in the wake of Tesla's AI day, the stock market won't react very well. The mainstream finance media will be, quote, disappointed, and there'll be barely a Wall Street stock analyst who even considers the information that's just been presented, if they can grasp it in the first place, and integrates that into their Tesla valuation models. And that's totally fine. As Elon Musk pointed out, the sole purpose of this event is recruiting AI talent. And that segues perfectly into the Tesla AI Day event invitation. So this is the invitation that was sent out to a select group of people. I'm not sure exactly who was invited and who wasn't. This invitation has gone out now to a number of people that appear to have some interest or ties into the artificial intelligence and or robotics communities here. We see AI Day, August 19th, 5 p.m., Palo Alto, California. Of course, the first question there is what exactly is that pretty stack of what look like chips? The answer is almost certainly that this is Tesla Dojo. Well, if you want to be technical, a small piece of Dojo. 
James Dowmer and Dave Lee went in depth on this yesterday. I highly recommend you guys check out the video if you haven't. I'm not gonna go too deep on this one. The point is, this is almost unquestionably Tesla's own custom designed chips, completely optimized for neural network training rather than using a typical GPU cluster. In fact, let's see what Elon Musk had to tweet about this almost one year ago. Dojo uses our own chips and a computer architecture optimized for neural net training, not a GPU cluster. Could be wrong, but I think it will be best in world. So just take a quick moment to let this one sink in. Tesla is developing their own custom architecture for neural network training to help in the development of artificial intelligence. In particular, clearly, obviously, we're talking about full self-driving, but the AI Day invitation hints at more. Let's read what the invitation had to say. Join us in Palo Alto, California on August 19th, 2021 at 5 p.m. This invite only event will feature a keynote by Elon, hardware and software demos from Tesla engineers, test rides in Model S Plaid and more. Attendees will be among the first to see our latest developments in supercomputing and neural network training. They'll also get an inside look at what's next for AI at Tesla beyond our vehicle fleet. Wait, what? They'll also get an inside look at what's next for AI at Tesla beyond our vehicle fleet. Holy fucking shit, guys. This is a bombshell with a capital B. AI beyond our vehicle fleet. Guys, we've got to talk about this. Time to talk about Tesla robots. Jeez, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Now, ordinarily, you'd be like, what the hell do robots have to do with Tesla AI Day? Well, this is where things get really interesting. So, this is a tweet from Dennis Hong, the first person that I'm aware to publicly share this Tesla AI Day invitation, clearly suggesting that he's been invited to the event. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the details. There was a bunch of tweets from this guy yesterday, many of which have since been deleted fancy that, discussing the fact that he has an NDA with Tesla, that he doesn't want to steal Elon's thunder in terms of the AI Day event, reveals, etc. It seems like there's something brewing between Dennis and Tesla, so let's do some digging. Who is this Dennis Hong? Professor, Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, UCLA. Director, Romella Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory. Hmm, let's learn a little bit more about what he's been up to with this laboratory. The Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at UCLA is a facility for graduate and undergraduate robotics research and education with an emphasis on studying humanoid robots. Hmm, and novel robot mobile locomotion strategies. So uh, translation for those of you who are a little bit lost in the terminology, humanoid, basically robots that kind of look like people, bipedal, two legs, two arms, this kind of a thing. And more interestingly than that to me, novel mobile robot locomotion strategies aka new and interesting ways for robots to move themselves. Now, had Tesla's AI Day event invitation not explicitly stated they would be demonstrating some capabilities, some artificial intelligence beyond Tesla's vehicle fleet, I would immediately have assumed, well, duh, this is just going to be new robots for the factory, some crazy AI showing how they can automate more of the process, you know, the whole alien dreadnought. This is extremely obvious, duh. But there's a problem here. The invitation did talk about AI, artificial intelligence, beyond Tesla's vehicle fleet. That to me doesn't suggest it has anything to do with their vehicles, either the vehicles themselves in customers' hands or the actual manufacturing of the vehicles. Now, to be clear, I do think we're gonna learn some more about some new manufacturing techniques, how important AI is in Tesla's factories as well. Don't get me wrong, I think this is important but I don't think this is gonna be the focus of Tesla's AI day. And this is where Dennis Hong and his research laboratory really tie in. Had Dennis Hong not tweeted his invitation to Tesla AI day and then some more cheeky tweets about having an NDA and not wanting to steal Elon's thunder in terms of AI day, I would have assumed that this really wouldn't have had much to do with robotics whatsoever. Yeah, sure, they're talking about some of the AI powering robots in the factory, and that would have been about as far as it goes. But we just can't ignore the clues. It seems almost certain that Tesla AI efforts are gonna be applied into robots that are beyond Tesla's vehicle fleet. What's going on here? Well, let's look a little bit more at some of the robots being developed by this research lab. So let's have a quick look at some of the robots being developed by this lab. Icarus. Integrated conceptual air ground robotic unmanned system. Are Tesla drones around the corner? Could these be involved in package delivery, food delivery services, in autonomous Teslas? You order your quote, Tesla Eats, it gets delivered autonomously and then a drone can fly the package to your front door? Maybe, I wouldn't rule this out, although I'm not suggesting this is a high probability. Here's Dante, a three-fingered robotic manipulator. I definitely do not advise dropping the soap around our friend Dante. Thor RD? A tactical hazardous operations robot? Maybe there's a slight outside chance that Tesla could be thinking about using robots in mining operations? 
Now this is curious, culinary assistant robot limb version 2. We know that Tesla in the future may be potentially opening Tesla restaurants at supercharging stations. Is it possible that they're looking to automate the food production and or serving process? Not ruling this one out either, but again, I'm not saying this is a high probability, but hey, it's definitely possible. Here's Alfred, autonomous legged personal helper with enhanced dynamics. I love these acronyms. Curious though, we can visually understand what's going on here. Maybe something like Alfred could be used for last foot delivery of products, services, etc. And just imagine you've got a Tesla, it autonomously is delivering a package to your door. How do you get the package to your door? Well, maybe Nabi, the non-anthropomorphic biped could do the delivery. We see Charlie over here, quote, the United States first full-size autonomous humanoid robot capable of walking in all directions, kicking and performing gestures and simple upper body manipulation tasks. A variety of hands and grippers have been experimented for a variety of objects and goals. Something like this could potentially be great in terms of the production lines in Tesla factories, but again, the invitation said that they were demonstrating Tesla artificial intelligence beyond Tesla's vehicle fleet. So it really makes you wonder. So allow me to speculate. As I said earlier, the most obvious application for artificial intelligence and robotics within Tesla's vehicle fleet would be in terms of the production in the actual factories, but I think we're going beyond this. So what would be the next logical step? In my opinion, the most logical next step for Tesla in terms of applying Tesla's artificial intelligence, Tesla's vision, and having a huge impact on the world is last foot delivery. Tesla vision is stunning real world AI, and Tesla are on the cusp of solving autonomy in terms of vehicles. Once Tesla has solved autonomy and the robo-taxis awaken, the possibilities are unlimited. The two most obvious extensions after this are food delivery and package delivery. Just imagine that you have an autonomous vehicle that can deliver a package not only to your destination, but then you've got a robot that can intelligently applying and adapting Tesla's already developed Tesla vision system beyond roads into driveways, buildings, etc., can then take that package to your front door and deliver it to you in person. Whether this is a drone, a humanoid robot, or something else, doesn't particularly matter. The idea here is that if Tesla can add on and go beyond robo-taxis, but then also have that last foot delivery, it changes everything. Freight will be enormously disrupted. <laughs> Uber Eats is completely fucked. so are the food delivery services. You guys can understand where this is going. And it's very important to understand that Tesla Vision is starting with vehicles, but Tesla Vision can be expanded and adapted beyond vehicles, including drones, boats, planes, etc., and more importantly, robots out in the real world. Tesla Vision starts by solving autonomous vehicles, but that is not where it ends. It's also possible that in the future, Tesla may develop helper robots, either to care for people, for example, who are elderly, frail, vision impaired, etc., or even more generally, assistance for the home. But again, this is a very, very challenging artificial intelligence problem. But as we know, Tesla is transforming into one of the world's leading AI companies, so they'll be among the best positioned to actually solve these huge challenges. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a few hundred micrograms of LSD coursing through my system. If, however, in the future, this changes and I decide to go down that rabbit hole, I guarantee you guys there's gonna be a part two to this video in which I will speculate rampantly about all sorts of other possibilities. And I'm not just talking about fairly obvious potential possibilities such as solar-powered robots that can do all sorts of interesting things, or even perhaps integrating robotics technology into some of their existing solar products. For example, really simply, just being able to track the sun and harvest more sunlight, being a little bit more energy efficient. But instead, I feel like with the right mindset, the right perspective shift, there may be a few things that in retrospect will actually be very obvious and people will ask the question, why didn't anyone think of that? This was so obvious. So the question I have for you guys and girls is, what is your speculation? What do you think that Tesla may unveil at Tesla's AI day that's quote, beyond their vehicle fleet? potentially just an application of AI, but more likely an application of AI and robotics. Let me know all your speculation, your crazy ideas in the comments below. And since you made it this far into the video, I'm gonna reward you guys by telling you what I really think. Those of you who follow me on Twitter may have already seen this breaking news, but for everyone else, I quote, at Tesla AI Day, the company is set to unveil a sex robot called the Tesla Q to satisfy the unmet needs of the self-hating, basement-dwelling adult virgins of Tesla Q. Voice lines include, Oh my god, you're so short. It burns and fraud me harder, baby. <laughs> Oh guys, I cannot believe I just did that. I am so sorry. It's unfortunate I ran out of characters on that tweet because I could literally keep going on all day. The competition is coming 
and I'm the competition. I'm just going to stop. Well, that's an awkward way to end a video. So yeah, let me know your speculation about Tesla AI Day in the comments below. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card, where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.